Hello everyone, I am Priyanka Gore. Welcome back to my channel Learning with Pace. So in this video, we'll continue the analysis of myself, which is an essay written by Abraham Kaule. Now though, I was engaged in ways most contrary to the original design of my life. Engaged means busy. Contrary means opposite. Original design means original plans. So here, Abraham Kaule is telling everyone that during civil war, he was engaged in such things that was opposite to his original plans and he was busy in such things which he never wanted in his life. Into much company and no small business and into a daily sight of greatness. So during civil war, he got into many things which he never wanted in his life such as he was into much company and we have already read in the initial paragraph of the essay that he always wanted to be alone with his books although he wanted uh, friends but he wanted good friends so he, so he always believed in quality rather than quantity but during civil war he had to go opposite to his nature so during civil war he was with much company and he was occupied with big businesses into a daily sight of greatness. So during the civil war, he saw a lot of expensive and great things which he never wanted in his life. Both militant, militant means war, triumphant means victorious. For that was the state then of English and French courts. So he is telling the condition of English and French courts during that time period. So uh, during civil war, he is narrating that English and French courts both were busy and both courts were almost occupied with only militant or triumphant things. So in the English as well as in French courts, he saw militant and triumphant things. Yet all this was so far from altering my opinion. Now Abraham Kaule is admitting that although he was into political turmoil, he was into much company, he was occupied with big businesses, but nothing could change his opinion. Okay, so nothing could alter, nothing could change his inclination towards poetry. That it only added the confirmation of reason to that which was before but natural inclination. So here once again he is giving the confirmation that how he got inclined towards poetry. So here Abraham Kaule is uh, telling us that uh, from this political turmoil and this political life he got the confirmation of reason that why he had natural inclination towards poetry and why he wanted to establish himself as a poet. So all in all what is the meaning of this line? Abraham Kaule is conveying that how his life was during a uh, civil war that how he was engaged in such things which was contrary, which was opposite to his nature. He had to live with much company. He was occupied with big businesses, although it was contrary to his nature, but it was the need of the hour. And he is telling us that, uh, you know, this big company or big businesses or great site, it could not change his opinion. And from this political turmoil, he got the confirmation of reason that why he has natural inclination towards poetry. All right. I saw plainly all the paint of what kind of life the nearer I came to it. So here Abraham Kaule is referring the political life. He is saying that in political turmoil he has seen many things apparently and the nearer he came to this political life he saw apparently that what kind of life is this. So he found beauty in this life but which I did not fall in love with when. So on the one hand, Abraham Kaule is saying that this political life, it was real beauty. But 
he did not fall into the trap of this beauty it was real was not like to bewitch or entice me bewitch means uh, attract entice means uh, tempt karna me when i saw it was adulterate so here abram kaule is giving a reason that why uh, he did not fall in love with this political life so abram kaule is telling us that this political life was full of adulterate okay he found adultery in this political life that's why it could not bewitch or entice him that's why this political life due to adultery could not attract uh, or tempt abram kaule because abram kaule wanted his life uh, full of purity okay so since abram kaule always inclined uh, towards the purity so that's why he did not bewitch towards political life since he saw that this political life is full of adultery or amalgamation so now what abram kaule meant by this line abram kaule said this political life was beautiful no doubt it was beautiful it was real beauty to live in this political condition but this political life had too much adultery and he never wanted his life uh, to be so adulterate so that's why this political life could not attract abram kaule and abram kaule thought if he would be uh, if he would uh, be engaged in this adultery life then his life will not be in the purest form so that's why abram kaule uh, did not like this political life i met with several great persons whom i liked very well but could not perceive that any part of their greatness was to be liked or desired no more than i would be glad or content to be in the storm so here abram kaule is saying during civil war he met great persons of that time period he met great eminent personalities of that time period whom he liked very much but abram kaule on the other hand uh, he is admitting that he could not understand their greatness was to be liked or desired so basically abraham kaule is saying and admitting that he liked few persons because it was the time okay it was the time of public storm so might be this was the time of public storm so he had to like several people right and he was doubtful about their greatness but he liked several person because of the time though i saw many ships many ships means several people which rid safely and bravely in it so again abram kaule is telling us that uh, it was the period of many hardships but still he saw many people who got rid of this civil war of this storm very easily very safely and bravely although it was very difficult time but people handled it very bravely right a storm could not agree with my stomach if it did with my courage so again abram kaule is talking about civil war and the hardship of that time period so he is saying during civil war it was very much hard for the people to earn their livelihood my stomach is referring livelihood here okay and it was the time to show courage so here abram kaule ka kehne ka matlab hai ki civil war ke time pe kuch log aise the jinke liye livelihood earn karna mushkil tha but ye time kuch aisa tha jisme logo ko apna courage apni bravery show karni thi and few people handled it very bravely though i was in a crowd of as good company as could be found anywhere so abram kaule is saying during civil war he was with such good company that he could ever found though i was in business of great and honorable trust i ate at the best table i ate as the at the best table means he was uh, having 
best feast of his time enjoyed the best convenience for present subsistence that ought to be desired by a man of my condition in banishment and public distress since abram kaule was banished from the country and he followed queen as i told you in the previous analysis that how he followed queen to paris and he was living with the princess in in her court okay so during his banishment and during this public distress abraham kaule was enjoying the best possible life the best possible moment of the time okay so now abraham kaule meant during civil war it was an appropriate time to show the courage because the livelihood was difficult it was very very difficult time to earn the livelihood but during this time period when he was banished from this country and when the public distress is the public turmoil were going on so during this time abraham kaule was enjoying the best possible life of this time period as he was enjoying the good company he was enjoying the best table i mean he was having the amazing food and he was having best convenience in his life so जो भी उनके पास सिविल वॉर के टाइम पे था उसके लिए अब्राम कावले इज शोइंग दैट ही इज फॉर्चुनेट इनफ एंड ही इज ग्रेटफुल इनफ येट आई कुड नॉट एबस्टेन फ्रॉम रिन्यूइंग माई ओल्ड स्कूल बॉयज विश इन कॉपी ऑफ वर्ड्स टू द सेम इफेक्ट सो हियर अब्राम कावले इज सेइंग दैट ही कुड नॉट एबस्टेन आई मीन ही कुड नॉट रेफरेन हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम रिज्यूमिंग हिज ओल्ड स्कूल बॉयज विश आई मीन जो उनकी विश स्कूल बॉय के टाइम पर थी ही कुड नॉट रेफरेन हिमसेल्फ इफ ही कुड नॉट रेस्ट्रेन हिमसेल्फ टू पुटिंग हिज विश इन द कॉपी ऑफ वर्ड्स well then i now do plainly see this busy world and i shall never agree so here abram kaule is talking about the outcome of a uh, civil war so he is saying that during civil war he saw many things okay he saw uh, political life very nearly and he saw that world was too busy during that time so now abram kaule is giving a message that he never wanted busy world in his life he never wanted too much people in his life so whatever the condition during civil war he could not agree with that time period and i never then proposed to myself any other advantage from his majesty's happy restoration but the getting into some moderately convenient retreat in the country so here abram kaule is talking about restoration time period in restoration charles the second charles the second ascended the throne so here majesty word is referring to charles the second so abram kaule is saying that since he was royalist so he thought he would be getting an advantage from his majesty charles the second and he did not want um, too much from his majesty in fact he just wanted to retreat back in his country so as you all know that during civil war abraham kaule since he was royalist so that's why he was uh, banished from the country and he had to live in the banishment but during restoration period abraham kaule wished to come back to the country so this is the advantage he is talking about that it would be easy for him to get back into the country since it is the time of his majesty which i thought in that case i might easily have encompassed as well as some others with no greater probabilities or pretences have arrived to extraordinary fortunes so abram kaule is saying that since it is the restoration time period so he can easily come back to his country to follow his passion so he can easily attain whatever he want because it was the time period of restoration okay it was the restoration time period okay and restoration time period mein unko wo cheeze mili jo unhone सोची नहीं थी विद एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी फॉर्चून आई मीन एक ग्रेट लक के साथ उन्होंने वो सभी चीजें पाई थी 
बट आई हैड बिफोर रिटर्न अ श्रूड प्रोफेसी अगेंस्ट माई सेल्फ आई थिंक अपोलो इंस्पायर्ड मी इन ट्रूथ दो नॉट इन द एलिगेंस ऑफ इट सो हियर अब्राम काउले इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अपोलो नो यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट हु अपोलो इज सो बेसिकली अपोलो जो है वो प्रोफेसी के गोड कहलाते हैं राइट सो अपोलो इज द गोड ऑफ प्रोफेसी एंड अब्राम काउले इज सेंग दैट ही हैज रिटन अ श्रूड प्रोफेसी अ कनिंग प्रोफेसी अगेंस्ट हिमसेल्फ एंड इन दिस प्रोफेसी ही हैज इंस्पायर्ड बाय Apollo to write the truth though you will not find any sort of elegance in this verse so these are the uh, verse we are talking about and this is the prophecy he has written thou neither great at court nor in the war so abram kaule is saying that you i mean abram kaule is referring himself that you are not great at court neither you are good at war nor at the exchange shalt be nor at the wrangling bar wrangling bar means dispute okay so here abram kaule is saying neither you are good at exchange i mean neither you are good at trading and nor you are good at dispute content thyself with the small barren praise so you should feel content you should you should feel satisfied with whatever you have or the small barren praise you get which neglect verse does raise so here abram kaule meant that he has written neglected verse and due to neglected verse or unproductive verse he is getting small barren praise i mean unko jhooti jo praises mil rahi hain usse na abram kaule ko khush ho jana chahiye so he is saying you should feel content with whatever the praise you get because you have written unproductive verse okay i met presently not only with many little encumbrances and impediments but with so much sickness so here encumbrances and impediment means burden abraham kaule is saying that he is facing too much burden in his life too much hindrance in his life and not only this he has fallen sick so all these things are a kind of new misfortune for him as would have spoiled the happiness of an emperor as well as mine so he is saying whatever he is suffering so it can spoil the happiness of an emperor uh, rather he is uh, such a common person okay so abram kaule keh rahe ki wo to ek common insaan hai usko to waise bhi ye cheeze bahut zyada pareshan karengi balki ye cheeze ek emperor ki bhi happiness ko spoil kar sakti hain yet i do neither repent nor alter my course so again abram kaule is saying yet इतना होने के बाद भी आई मीन द बर्डन ही इज फेसिंग द सिकनेस ही इज फेसिंग ही स्टिल इज फॉलोइंग हिज पैशन ही नाइदर रिपेंट ऑन हिज कोर्स आई मीन ही नाइदर रिपेंट ऑन वट ही हैज डिसाइडेड और वट वॉज हिज ओरिजिनल प्लान और नोर ही चेंज हिज कोर्स ओके मतलब जो इन्होंने डिसाइड किया जो चूज किया ये ना तो उस पर रिपेंट करते हैं ना रिग्रेट करते हैं ना इन्होंने उस प्लान को कभी चेंज किया सो so, इनका जो प्लान था दैट वॉज इनका पैशन था पोइट्री ओके सो वट अब्राम कावले वॉन्टेड टू कन्वे इन दिस पैराग्राफ अब्राम कावले इज सेंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो योर पैशन यू शुड फॉलो इट डेस्परेटली विदाउट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द फॉर्चून और विदाउट एनी और विदाउट सरेंडरिंग योर सेल्फ डू नॉट सरेंडर योर सेल्फ इनफैक्ट फॉलो योर पैशन वेरी डेस्परेटली एंड गॉड लाफ ऑन सच पीपल हु क्विट देअर ओरिजिनल प्लान एंड हु टेक एवरी थिंग सो ईजीली and again uh, abram kaule is saying that he has uh, seen many encumbrances many burdens in his life he was sick also which was kind of misfortune but he did not regret or he did not alter his plan which he has decided okay so i hope you liked this video and 
अभी हमारा जो ऑफ माई सेल्फ का पूरा ऐसे था नाउ इट इज़ कम्प्लीटेड इफ़ यू हैवेंट लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड टेलीग्राम एज वेल थैंक यू बाय कीप लर्निंग